guess I didn't realize how long it's been. How much it's changed. Ah, uh, this ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? You gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Are you okay? It's been so long since I was here. I used to love this place, but it's so overgrown. I'll be fine. Let's just find a way in. What do you want? Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders, you and I are gonna have words. Let's survive first. Mm, I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. But shut up. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. We send the one we don't mind losing. That's an ugly thing to say. Vice says we need her help, right? She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Not bad. Oh, look. Wild ginger. Eastern prickly pear. Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. You seem happy. You can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are gonna do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Some mushrooms are edible. Did you find anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. I kinda like to see that.
Yes! Dibs! Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. You weren't there when we dug the holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. It took forever. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey, we can use these. <sighs> For what? We can make bombs out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. I just need some propane and something to create a spark. And we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Find something? Yep, maybe useful. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on. Help me move this thing. Okay, let's see what's inside. Had a scare, that's all. Oh no. What? Who was she? Miss Martin. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. She looks... You can barely recognize her. She's just... just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I... I just... wish I could make her look like she used to. One day we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just... There were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run. So we did. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can. Take care of her. 
Would you? I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Uh, Mitch? Is this useful? Fucking A. I was hoping there'd be one of those. That's an igniter. We can use it to create a spark. Now we just have to find propane. We can blast those motherfuckers to hell. You find anything? I... actually, I don't know what this is. Ugh, looks like piss. Dare you to drink it? Not in a million years. Wimp. Ms. Martin meant a lot to you, huh? She was the only one who stayed. She saw us for what we were. Bunch of kids who no one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. You seem to know a lot about bombs. I well, made my first one when I was eight. Really? I blew up the garage. It was awesome. Though, Dad didn't think it was awesome. Dad gave me a chemistry set to keep me from fighting the neighbors. Uh, why would you fight the neighbors? I had a lot of energy. I had to use it somehow. And they didn't like my face. Let's hope there's gas in it. Yeah, perfect. Here. Good, fine. Now we have everything we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Barrier? Why bother? It's a walker. Let me drag it out back. We can burn it. No! Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. And? She deserves a proper burial. Here. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. She deserves a real burial. I'll help you bury her. It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. It's not a her. It's a walker. Fine, whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. I'll put a stone in the graveyard. Back at the school. Bet Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you helped me. That you've got a... a good heart. Under all that muck. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Think it'll be enough? Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. 
Straight into a fiery explosion of death, assholes won't know what hit them. Brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when, you know. Where did you get those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. How's he doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So we've got a greenhouse again. And bombs. Mitch's idea. I figured. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. While we get ready to fight. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Everyone else is okay with us staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. Are we friends again? Just get some sleep, okay? Lewis? I really missed you. Missed you too. Good night. I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me. And he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. AJ, I was never mad at him. I understand why he acted that way. Why he wanted us gone. <sighs> me too. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. Then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. James was nice. But I don't like sleeping on the ground. Me neither. How about this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh yeah, I think it's the same character. Cool. Hey, this one's pretty cool. It looks like Marlin's jacket. Oh, yeah, but it would still look good on you. It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. Hmm. This one will work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with a light. I'll blow it out in a second. Wonder how long it'll last. That's a weird plant. It's a fungus. A fungus? Doesn't look fun. That plant looks scary. Oh, it is. It's a fly trap. It eats bugs. A plant can eat bugs? <laughs> That's so, so awesome. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries? <sighs> 
Big Bang. AJ? Where are you? You were having a nightmare, the same one you used to have all the time, about what happened at the ranch. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. We're safe here, AJ. It doesn't feel like it. You used to think so. Ah! Here, let me help you back to bed. No. You don't have to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. 
And I will. All the time. You're the toughest boy I know. Probably the toughest boy in the whole world. Not as tough as you. Well, no one's as tough as me. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. To atone me. I'm gonna help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. I don't love the idea, but okay. Go ahead. Be careful. Okay, I will. I'll guard you real good. I'll sleep better knowing you're watching out for me. Well, Clementine, you sure did raise a weird kid. Hmm, no kidding, Clementine. Maybe because you're the sort of person who talks to herself when she's alone. <sighs> You ready to work today, kiddo? I know you were up late. Yeah, I went around the school eight times last night on patrol. Find anything? No danger. I just found a turtle that I thought we could keep. But it was dead and had bugs inside, so I thought, never mind. It's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. What stuff? Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey. I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Pretty clear message. I wouldn't want to pledge to that. Hopefully this at least creeps the raiders out. What are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <laughs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fucking shit! I'm sure you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. Just need more time. 
alone time to think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. Shit. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games. While my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back, I, I still do. AJ killed him. I didn't stop it. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. I'll never be glad he died. But I understand why AJ thought it was the right thing to do. Here, you take it. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before, before he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. In that direction, please. And just so you know, I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Okay? Sounds good. And Clem, thank you. For all of it. Place looks ready for a war. Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. Back hallway secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. Well, honestly, it's not perfect. But they're trying. They're doing everything they can. Trying isn't gonna stop them from getting kidnapped. Trying isn't going to stop these raiders from burning down our fucking home. Jesus, Clem. They stopped giving out participation trophies when walkers started eating people. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh. I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself- Guys, what the fuck? 
Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a Sim won't listen to anything I say! That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders, if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant, idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid! You're being childish! I am not! I'm trying to help! So help! And stop arguing! Asim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical, too! No, it isn't! It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. Especially a child who has no idea what he's up against. What the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. All right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you want to go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What do we plan? Truth or dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, lowest card has to answer. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Marry, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Marry, flip, kill. Ruby, a Sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... James. He sounds mysterious. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? Whatever makes you happy, Clem. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. A sim. Oh, wow. That's, wow. Now that's awkward. I don't think you're his type. He's into redhead. Dude, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> so that means you're killing. This is amazing. Ruby! Wow, poor Ruby. Poor, kind hearted Ruby. A sim would happily marry you. Damn it, Lewis. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I win. And poor a sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. You have to kiss a walker. What? No way. Gotta play by the rules, my dude. That's like, I could die. Avoid the teeth. Go for the cheek. Ugh, gross. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I hate everyone. That was amazing. Well, I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Asim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Seriously? Like-like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. <sighs> yeah, I've definitely...
Definitely got feelings for someone. Oh, oh who is it? <laughs> nope, not telling. Sam, you've got the high card, and the loser is Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um, I, I think, I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday, because the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages, so it's like that. This age will end, and another one will start. An age without walkers, like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I wanna try, but I need a second person. Thought I could tickle the ivories one last time before all hell breaks loose. That's a good idea. Haven't heard music in a while. Many people would say you're not about to hear it now. So, how do you feel about our imminent deaths? We won't necessarily die, of course. We could also be kidnapped, injured, maimed, maybe eaten. The possibilities are endless. I actually feel... Pretty good about it. The fight, not our deaths, because we're not gonna die. You're so sure. You have to be, right? So, what's this project you needed me for? Sounds awful, right? All we need to do is tune it. That's why I need you. When I get the signal, play the A key. Uh, yeah, which one's the A key? You know, the A key. Next to the B key. After the G key. Good. That definitely helped. Now press the pedals while I make some more adjustments. Great! That part's golden. Quick, now blow on the strings. 
I know, sounds weird, but blow on them. Cooling the temperature helps set them in harmony. <sighs> okay, great. That did nothing, because that's not at all part of how you tune a piano. <laughs> but it was funny. It could have done something, on like a molecular level. Or maybe it's good luck to blow on strings. <laughs> you are super cute. Cute? Wow. Uh, that's a... Uh, yay! <laughs> Glad to be of service. What are you playing? And don't say a piano. A song that I wrote. Really? What's it called? I don't know yet. There. First time played. You should mark the occasion. You done tattooing that piano? I think you've got a future in Whitlin. I like saying Whitlin. Whitlin. Okay, I'll stop. Oh, that's a, that, that's a potato? It's a heart, yep, I see, it's a heart. That's super cool, really cool. So, hey, I'm gonna dig myself into a deep hole from which I'll never emerge. Cool? Cool. Ha, huh. time to get serious. Serious? Wow. You feeling okay? Not really, nope. Mm -mm. Thanks for being here, listening, blowing on the strings, coming here to help me with my project even after everything I put you through and everything I had to work through for myself. Everyone hears the jokes, the piano, and after that, they stop listening. You didn't. So, um, I like you a lot. Like, like you. As more than a friend. <laughs> no jokes? Nothing? When you said you had feelings for someone during the game, I was hoping it was me. And it is. Holy shit, it's me! Figured out what to call the song. Clementine, obviously. You know, because I like fruit. And I like you even more, so... There. Gotta admit, of all the things I saw coming, you having a crush on me was not it. You stabbing me in my sleep? Yes. Declaration of crush? No. <laughs> Clem, you out here? I have to go. I've got lookout duty. Well, you wouldn't want to miss that. Sounds like way too much fun. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with him. Abel. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Can I swear yet? I think it's time I can. If you do. Fuck it. Really? Go for it, kiddo. Everyone else swears, you might as well too. I fucking really hate that fucking dickhead shit fuck. Whoa, that's a little much, don't you think? <laughs> Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four... AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. 
He doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. Okay? Okay. Really? Yes, I can't promise you how things are gonna go. But if it's possible, you get first shot at him. Wow. What, you thought I'd say no? Yeah. I'm grown up now. No, you aren't. But I'm close. Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. Not a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. Raiders? Yeah, they're here. Shit. Well, in case it all goes to hell and I don't see you again during the fight, just know I have no idea what that D stands for on your hat. Don't tell me. I prefer it to remain a mystery. But I'm gonna pretend like it stands for don't die. So just, um, listen to your hat, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh, no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. Lewis, shut it. We're gonna make those assholes <laughs> right- oh, oh, God shit. Shit. Oh, no. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Shit. Hide, now! Omar, I got him. AJ, hide! Come on! I'm no good at No! Open up, kid! Get any uglier. My bow! Go! Go. I'll be alright. <laughs> you don't have much time. Go! Or make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. Get the chance! Where's our new recruits? <laughs> They're not yours! Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And your little boy. Take me! You want soldiers? Fine! Take me with you! But leave everyone else. You do that? 
You'd come with me if I let the others go? Yes. You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? Because you almost gave up just now? Handed yourself over to save your friends? Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We've recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. You'll be happier where they are. Shut up, Lily! You've always been a liar and a killer! You're not taking anyone else from me! No! Nice little chat, you and me, alone. Ah! Fuck it, bitch! Clem, I can't. Stay back! Oh. Oh. Whenever I see someone like you, weak, small, afraid. And still alive? Well, bet a lot of folks died to get you here. Uh. 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 
Dibs. Should be easy. You won't kill me. I know you won't. Why? We were like family once. He won't hurt family. I'm sorry for trusting her.
God, Asim, Omar, they're just gone. And Violet. I never thought someone would get her. We're going after them. How? We still don't know where they are or how many. Well, we've got someone who does. Ugh. <sighs>